Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. I'm going to show you something summery today, how to make shish kebabs. Before we begin, I'm going to show you these pictures again that people sent. And if you're tired of seeing them, send me some new ones so I can replace them because I'm just going to keep showing them. But all right, here we go. Okay, now granted, shish kebabs are pretty uh, much a specialty item, not too popularly requested, but still kind of fun, kind of summery, and I had a lot of fun making it, so I'm going to share it with you anyway. So, haha, -ha. yes, I'm using clay on this one, and I'm taking red, yellow, and green, and cutting out rectangles, as you can see, and kind of curving them. I'm going to be making it so it looks like red and green peppers, and the yellow I left thicker, in order to make it look kind of like pineapple chunks. So I cut out some green, as you can see there, make it a little, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect rectangles. Cut out some red, different shapes, different sizes a little bit. And this is where the really fun part comes is to make the shrimp because I have very expensive shish kebabs. I do shrimp shish kebabs, thank you very much. Now, like I said, this is uh, actually polymer clay that someone wanted to keep forever because why wouldn't you? And you can also do it out of gum paste. The, the problem, you know, it follows the same procedures. You just don't bake your gum paste. So yeah, as you can see from my shrimp, I took some beige, rolled it into a big old cat dookie shape, flattened off the one end, rounded it off a little bit there with that tool. Now I'm kind of trimming it. That's gonna become the tail of the shrimp, but you probably already guessed that anyway. And the shrimp's tail kind of points inward. As you can see, I took that nip off the bottom. Still a little bit long, so I took a little more off. Put some lines in it on the tail to make it look like little uh, fins. I don't know what you want to call them there. Uh, I'm separating out around the edge of the shrimp there to make it look like that's where the head was attached. And then using the tool, making a groove down the back of the shrimp because my shrimp are cleaned. Thank you very much. I don't make people devein their own shrimp. And I'm going back into it with my tool again, kind of pressing it out. Because you know how this, the flesh always is a little, I don't know, ripply. It's not a, a nice clean cut when you devein your shrimp. So that's what I'm going for there. And I think I'm pretty much nailing it. So yeah, you got the funky looking head. You got the vein removal in the back. Using the back of my knife blade, I'm just rolling it over the body of the shrimp to make it have the segments that it always has. Going on the back edge a little bit in order to, you know, finish it rounding off the body. And yeah, just separate the front a little bit. And yeah, shrimp, there you go. Now, after it was baked, I ended up painting it, which I didn't show because, again, if you're going to be using gum paste, you won't paint it, but you could use your food colorings to paint it. I'm using a regular wooden skewer that, uh, mm, I think this was in the candy section or something, or maybe it was a real one I had from a leftover. And I'm making guide holes in it. Again, this is because this is polymer clay, it's gonna get baked, so I can't bake it with a stick in there, or maybe I probably could, honestly. I didn't wanna risk it, though. So if you are making out a gum paste, you're gonna stick it on your stick and just let it dry and harden. If you're baking it, then you bake it. And yeah, I painted it. I painted the shrimp a little brown, dabbed everything with a little black to make it look a little grilled up and shish kebabs. So check out my other videos. Hopefully like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching Cake Tastic Cakes. 